Hello. On the desk here in front of me, I've got a book converter. It's a cheap jobby that I got from China. Um, I'll probably display at this point the picture or the, the page from eBay. Uh, and there'll be a link for it down below. However, the reason I've got it here and I'm doing a little video is because when it arrived, it came with no instructions. But on the eBay page, listing page, um, it did have some Chinese translated to English instructions that weren't very clear. Um, and when I went and looked online to see if there was uh, any better instructions, I didn't really find anything. But when it arrives, you've got to calibrate it. So I thought I'd worked out how to do it. it wasn't intuitive. I'll do a little video, stick it up on YouTube, and then it's available if anybody else wants to work it out. Okay, so let's begin. Um, essentially what the book converter does is it takes a voltage in here and then it regulates that voltage um, and steps it down essentially and sends it out uh, the other side here. Right, so if I apply a voltage here of 12 volts, I'll switch the meters on here so you can see what's happening. Um, so at the moment, um, let's switch the actual voltage on. At the moment, you can see that there's 12 volts going in. It's coming from my bench top power supply. Um, it's saying 11.98, but it's close enough to 12. Um, and coming out is 7.6 volts. So it's currently set to step down the voltage. Uh, the little display here, hopefully you can see this on the camera, is indicating 8.4 now at the moment this is displaying or should be displaying what the output voltage is when this thing arrives it's not calibrated so that's a job that i had to do now i've decalibrated it so i can show you how i did the calibration but essentially what happens is you can change this potentiometer here this trim pot and if you watch this meter here that's on the output, you can see that by turning it clockwise, I'm increasing the voltage. By turning it anti-clockwise, I'm decreasing the voltage. But hopefully you can see that's not, as this goes up, it's not going up to meet the indicated value here. This value is also going up. So as that goes up by 0 0.1 of a volt, this is also going up by one of a volt. So how do I get it so that this value here is the same as that? Well, that's the calibration procedure. What I should also say is that this display can also display the input voltage. Um, now, when I, <laughs> when I saw this, I thought, or assumed, uh, incorrectly as it is, that by pressing this button, you would see the output voltage uh, and by pressing this button, you would see the input voltage, simply because there's an LED down there. I don't know if you can see it. You, you perhaps can't, but down there, there's an LED that says in, and there's an LED that says out there, both directly above the left and right buttons. Buttons. So intuitively, you assume that press that, the in light will come on and show you the in voltage. Press that one, the out button would come on and you'd see the output voltage, but no, not that obvious. So as you can see, there's nothing on there now and uh, by clicking these I, I was didn't have a clue what was going on but <laughs> eventually worked out um, what what they were doing as it happens um, when it's showing the voltage just clicking the button on the the left hand side simply switches the display on and off so by default when you switch it on it's on but if you were using this in, in some application where you didn't want the display showing, then you can switch it off and it's not, not disturbing you. It also switches off these LEDs so it's not indicating um, whether it's showing in or out, which makes sense because it's not showing either. Uh, it would have been nice, I think, if it had switched off this LED here as well, because um, presumably if you're switching it off, you're not wanting any light coming out of it, but hey ho. If you're that bothered, you could. Uh, remove that and bridge it out and whatever. Anyway, switch it on. Okay, so it's currently displaying nine volts. That doesn't match to either of these. If you switch this button, it's this one that actually cycles between the in and the out voltages. So you can see the out LED's lit there, nine, 
doesn't match with what's actually coming out switch it uh, click it and the in light uh, LED comes on and it displays 10.9 um, which <laughs> again doesn't match the input voltage so that also needs calibrating so how do you calibrate it well let's start with the output voltage um, make sure the screen is displaying the voltage that you want to calibrate press and hold down this button for two seconds and let go then the output or the light indicating which of these it's displaying voltage it's displaying flashes and the actual display flashes now that it's in this mode I can use the left and the right buttons to change the voltage that's displayed on the little LED panel here but you can see that when I change that that it's not actually affecting the output voltage it's just the display so what I want to do is I want to change this so it matches what's on the display there now I'm going to make it a bit easier for myself simply by trimming that up so it's very very sensitive which is difficult I'm going to try and make it as close to 8 as possible there. the purposes of what I'm doing here this this is absolutely fine but you, it, it's easier because this has only got a resolution to one decimal place uh, it's easier to to get it accurate if this is you know, a, a number that is um, an integer so uh, that's 8.0 granted that really should be 8.1 but um, purposes of this exercise I'm going to assume it's 0.0 well I'm going to put it at 8.1 actually because it's flashing one back to zero which suggests it's sort of cycling between between the two once once it's on the right number you press and hold the left button again uh, sorry the right button again for two seconds it returns to uh, the normal mode now if I want to calibrate the inputs press the button to switch to showing the input resolution uh, input voltage again press and hold the right button two seconds and let go throughout this video I've probably been saying right and left and wrong way around but if I have you'll have to um, excuse me and I'll try and put up on the screen a correction um, so now it's flashing I could do exactly the same procedure I want to um, calibrate it to show on the display the 12 volts that's coming in again right button to go up left button to go down so you know, click through so 11.8 11.9 12 volts and then press and hold for two seconds done calibrated now I'm putting 12 volts into this if I change that now that we calibrated and change it to say um, 15 volts so you see that the multimeter has gone up to 15 the display has now gone up to 15 again if I want and also sorry if I switch this back to output mode so 8.1 it's about 8.1 on the output if I change this to some other value increase it to say 9 volts 9.4 the display also moves in line with it so it's calibrated the dis output display will, uh, and the input displays will show the actual voltages that are coming in and the voltage that's going out um, and then you, you can set this potentiometer here at any value for the output um, obviously because it's a book converter then if I try and well actually it's probably better if I just probably quicker if I reduce the input current uh, input voltage sorry to a lower number you can see that when I reduce the input voltage the output voltage can't be maintained so that also decreases at which point oops I think I'm at below its its minimum I think the minimum is six um, you can see even though this was set I think it was nine volts um, it can't maintain the nine volts because the input current is uh, input voltage sorry is only six volts um, so it's reducing the output uh, but the, the display is matching that no problem okay
So I just thought that would help anybody else who had one of these and wanted a, a, a more explanatory um, description of how you would calibrate it. Uh, thank you very much and goodbye. <laughs>